Hello, my name is Neka Ngubi, and I trust that you're well and keeping safe. Um, it appears for most countries now that the pandemic uh, curve is flattening. So we're expecting that nations will begin to reopen. In Africa here, some of them are already reopened as well as in some states in America. So today I would like to talk with you about rethinking your marketing strategies during and after the pandemic. What typically happens for most small business owners is that they draw back on marketing when it should actually be the other way around. I love this quote by Milan Kudendra that says that the two functions for, of business, marketing and innovation. I mean, I want you to think about it. What is marketing? What is innovation? But I want to focus on marketing today. And this, this, I got particularly interested in this when I was listening to a podcast a few weeks ago. And the person who was talking in the podcast talked about why it was so important to double down on marketing efforts, particularly small businesses. He gave the example of Amazon and the traditional booksellers during the last major financial crisis about 2007, 2008. This is actually when Amazon experienced their largest growth with the growth of the ebook because they aggressively went in marketing and, and surpassed sales of the traditional booksellers. Going back several decades again, yet another economic crisis, I believe early in the 70s, this was about Kellogg's conflicts. I'm sure you've heard of Kellogg's conflicts. Have you heard of Post? If you're in America, you probably have heard of Post Serial. But if you're in other parts of the world, like Africa, you may not have heard. But at some point, there was a time that Post had a larger market share than Kellogg's. During the crisis, Post withdrew from marketing. Kellogg's doubled down and were aggressive on marketing. And they overtook Post because of their aggressive marketing strategies. So it's vital that at this point in time, you resist the temptation of reducing on marketing. But first, what is marketing? According to the American Management Marketing Association, marketing is actually a series of activities, processes that are involved in creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value from you to your customers, to your partners and all that. So it's not just about selling. Oftentimes, small businesses interchange marketing and sales, but they are two separate things. Last week, I had a guest on my Facebook group live session called the African Entrepreneurs Forum. By the way, if you are an African business owner, you need to be part of this community. It was a, an extremely insightful interview where we really went down and really talked about all things marketing. In fact, a lot of the participants asked for him to come back again. It was so valuable, the information he shared. And some of the things he talked about was like marketing, is really around influence. So you need to, how you influence your target audience, which is distinct from selling. So you really have to have marketing before selling. But something he said that was so, it was like an aha, and even the comments that I received was that your business is not what you sell. It is the value you bring to the table. And when you talk about what you sell, you know, you, usually you ask, what do you do? You say, oh, you are into logistics or you sell clothing or something like that. But it's not. It is actually the value you bring to the table. And he gave an example of, say, a clothing, somebody who makes clothes. So you could call the person a fashion designer. You could call the person a dressmaker or a tailor. So you would say, oh, I, I make clothes right? Or I make clothes for the African woman, or I make suits for the fashion conscious person. But that's not the right way. He talked about that the value in this example is about beautifying, say, women, say, beautifying women of color, or beautifying 
the fashion conscious professional. So you see, that's very different. In which case, when you are beautifying, you are now taking into consideration, um, you're taking into consideration, say, a person's body shape, the colors that will fit a person. And this is when you are now adding value. You see, this will now differentiate you from somebody who says, oh, they sell clothes. And what happens when you've not properly defined the value? You engage in competition. And it's usually price competition, price wars, because you really have not. And so the critical thing here, when you begin to think about your business during and post the pandemic, is that you can only redefine your business when you understand the value that you bring. And the example we gave was Uber. We all know Uber, right? Before Uber came onto the scene, could you have ever imagined that you can have a transportation business without owning the vehicles? the cars, no way could you have imagined it. But they totally redefined that whole transportation industry because they focused on the value. In this case, the value they bring is convenience, saving of time. Within three to five minutes, you can have a driver. You're able to give feedback, which ordinarily before, another value is that you could have an estimate of your of the ride unlike before, where you may not even know that it just keeps going when you're in a taxi and all of that. So I hope it gives you an understanding of the importance for you to begin to truly understand and articulate the value your business brings to the table. There were so many other things that he talked about, and that's why I strongly encourage you to go watch the video. I'm sure you would take out one, I'm sure more than one, about three points or more of what you can immediately begin to implement in your business with the understanding of what marketing is all about. Now, if what I've shared with you has been helpful, then I would encourage you or ask that you share with a friend, tag a friend, share the link with somebody else who you know would benefit from this you're also adding value to that person. So until next week, keep safe and endeavor to live a significant life.